Who needs a G2G protein bar? Did your favorite player make a big mistake that cost them the game? He misses it! That's impossible! Oh my god! That is impossible! I'm telling you, there's something inside his brain about this building. Or maybe just an embarrassing moment. You know, it's just easier to call you stupid. Rock, Minuch, and Jimmy B react to the dumbest plays of the week and give out their best candidates for the G2G Protein Bar Award of the Week. A refrigerated protein bar with unmatched taste. G2G Protein Bars are now available at Costco. All right, I'm going with head coach Kyle Shanahan. He made the controversial decision yesterday to begin overtime on offense. Despite the new NFL playoff rule, which means both teams get at least one possession. Sure enough, they went down, they kicked the, the tie-breaking field goal, and then the Chiefs answered with a walk-off touchdown to steal, in my opinion, the win 25-22. to 22. And I know the rules are, are a little bit different, you know, and some of the people don't know the rules. You heard after the game, some of the players said, I wasn't really sure what the rules were. This doesn't happen a lot. I think the last time it happened was 2017. I mean, it's not like this happens very often. Um, but I do believe that I would have gone on defense right away. And I know you're going to say, hey, the team was tired. You just, you just, you know, you just were uh, on the field for so long trying to slow down Patrick Mahomes. But he scored pretty quick. It wasn't like they were on the field too long. Well, they, they, they this take come off 11 plays. A couple of things I think weighed into his, his mind was, you know, the drive before – they had gone down being in San Francisco and, and gotten the field goal, okay? And then, to their point there, the defense was on the field for almost two minutes, 11 plays coming back. So I think he felt, hey, look, I'm going to rest my defense. They, they're, they're gassed. I'm going to put my offense back in. And they had success. They did. They went right down the field. If it not for uh, a, a missed block on the right side by the right tackle, uh, Brock Purdy throws a touchdown pass to Jennings right there on the side. So I don't have any issue with it at happen. all. Well, I mean, they got the, they got the three points out of Rock. They went all the way down the field, you remember. But your whole point is to get seven. I, I get that. That's and then that's the one thing. But they got the three. But I mean, Isn't it less pressure? No, no, absolutely not. Because all of a sudden, if you here, – here's the deal. If you give the ball to KC, they're hot, man. Seven. They're coming right down the field. They're scoring. Okay, they have a long drive. Then your offense – who just went down the field. Can you make a case of Kansas City's uh, offense was on the field for 11 plays, too? They could be a little gassed as well. No, they're fresh, man. They've got the momentum. They're uh, ready to go. Are you and on the offensive side? I don't know. I'm sorry. You are, you I, are ready I, to go. I play defense first. I am definitely I, I am, defense. Uh, I'm not. I just, my guys are gassed. Sometimes, even though you're going to get the chance to score, sometimes I like it. I remember the, the, in the Fiesta Bowl, Boise State or Oklahoma. Oh, you had just gone up and down the field. Peterson goes, you know what? We want the ball, man. We're going to go down and score. We can't handle – our defense can't handle OU. We're going to go down and score. Now, that's a sudden death scenario. I get it. But this thing, I have no problem. His defense is gas. they got to make some adjustments because Patrick Mahomes is going up and down the field on him. So you take a break. You go through the adjustments. You get ready for the overtime. In the meantime, your offense just went right down the field on the, on the series before. How, about, how much time do you think there was between the last second that ticked off the regular clock to – when they had to be back on the field, oh, probably. Well, they had, you remember. They had to, so you got some rest. You had, yeah, you did. You had well, a lot of rest. You, you had about you, the offense Five had the minutes. ball. That, uh, that's the key. The offense had the ball almost eight minutes. Okay, San Francisco. So, so the defense, they exactly got, got a break, and they, they needed a break. Rest. That's what I'm saying. They needed a break. Otherwise, KC they, went well, down. My point is, they got their break. They could have gone right out. The break was like five minutes in between the coin toss. If if that now that you got that break, so you got the long drive by San Francisco. Those guys are. How did it work out for Minuch? Well, hey, it's it's called. How did it work out? It's called Andy Reid, called Patrick Mahomes. No, no. there's a lot of no. gas. There's a lot of gas on that on that 49ers defense as well too. I'm just saying, I want my guys fresh. I want to make the adjustments. If I got to go take on Patrick Mahomes, and I thought analytics is what's. point two i think you want to be in control of what you're going to score so if you're on defense first and they score a touchdown okay mahomes go down and get a touchdown with the potential of a two-point conversion to win the football game whereas for the niners you're hoping okay we got to get a touchdown here not knowing the rules that's probably why they went with the field goal if they knew the rules maybe they go for it and go for the touchdown there Manuch. but i agree with rock i think i'd rather know what i'm getting well, Versus, Real okay, quick. let's get a field goal, and I'm going to cross my fingers Chris, until Mahomes doesn't get a touchdown. Chris, how many how many times do we have to do this? You do not beat Andy Reid, Patrick Mahomes, and the Kansas City Chiefs.
by kicking field goals. Ask Buffalo, ask Cincinnati. You do not beat the Chiefs by kicking field goals. And time and time again, when the 49ers were down in the red zone, they settled for field goals. If you want to take the ball in that spot to start overtime, then you better be going for it on fourth and four to try to score a touchdown because they talked about it after the game. Chris Jones said, when we talked about this in preseason, we had made a decision that if we got to the Super Bowl and it was in overtime and we got we were going to defer, we were going to take the ball, and when we scored, we were going to go for two. The, the Chiefs had set up for this in the summer, and yet Kyle Shanahan and the 49ers seemed lost on that decision. Yeah, fourth and four, you got to score. Okay, if you don't score, you get you get held. All they got to do is like 40 yards, kick a field goal, game, set, match. I want to force them to kick the field goal. If they're going to come down tight or get the touchdown, I still want to force them to come down the field, drive the ball down the field, at least tie it up if they have to at the field goal. I'm just because if you miss it, you don't get it on fourth and four. Was down like the eight yard line? All of a sudden, they got to go five, six plays, bang, field goal or not, gives or them an not. opportunity. So I have any issue with it at all. I, and I want the ball in overtime on top of that, too. Now, to your point, Shu, yeah, you Two. can't beat the Chiefs by kicking field goals. That's the one thing. And I got to tell, I got to credit the Chiefs defense. And you also got to think the Chiefs defense, pretty much except for the fourth quarter, pretty much shut down the running game of the 49ers as well, too. All right, who gets your G2G? Uh, my G2G is going to be Ray Ray McLeod. <laughs> For not just jumping on the ball when he saw the punt hit one of his uh, teammates' feet, and tried to pick it up. Uh, you gotta, you gotta jump on the ball. Next play, bang! Touchdown by the Kansas City Chiefs. So my guy needs a G two G protein bar. Is Ray Ray McLeod? Dog on, jump on the damn ball, would you, Jimmy? <laughs> I'm gonna switch gears here a little bit because this is for shoe. Uh, Triple H, who yeah, you runs, tell him, Jimmy B. yeah, Let's who go. runs the WWE? We gotta go to break. Don't finally, we? acquiesced to the fans because they had originally put The Rock One in minute. the WrestleMania Championship match against Roman Reigns on Friday night show. Triple H realized he made a mistake and inserted Cody Rhodes back into the championship match against Roman Reigns. The WWF universe is finally good once again. No, we're talking about real sports here. That's yeah, what I was. They're talking about a real that's deal. That's a waste of air. That's a real deal. I mean, I'm serious. Uh, I don't even think. No. Uh, the G2G protein bars are going to go to myself and Minuch for our two takes. <laughs> Jimmy, you're not getting any free bars. <laughs> Hey, if you haven't had a G2G protein bar, you got to try it. It's not your average stale, off-the-shelf protein bar. I'm telling you, they're fantastic. They have eight flavors. My personal favorite is the peanut butter banana chocolate. And what makes these things so delicious is they're always fresh. No preservatives because they're stored in the refrigerator. And they are available right now at Costco in the refrigerated section. So head over to Costco and get your G2G bars. Coming up, uh, we will go fact-